Hello my beautiful bitters, welcome to my channel and today I have my update for my oldies but goodies project pan with a bunch of other ladies. I added myself in a little late last month and yeah so I will have everybody list in the description box below to all the other ladies doing this project pan. Anyway let's go into this and I'm also adding three more products because I saw myself moving through some stuff pretty fast and so I want to add, I want to do a rolling one, try to see how much products I can get used up instead of just focusing on the 10. And then I figured if I use up a product and I still have a like product in my collection, I'm just going to add that in and we'll just see how many of those I can get used up. For example, if I use up a nail polish, I'll throw in another nail polish and we'll just see how many I can get used up in six months. So let's go into this. So we have Tiny Bubbles by Don Ho. Tiny bubbles in the wine makes me happy, makes me feel fine. <laughs> anyway, I chose a Thousand Wishes body cream because it just reminded me of celebration you know and most everybody drinks champagne and all that stuff so I chose a thousand wishes now I am going through this like crazy I used 92 grams out of this because what I do is after I shower I come out and I lotion up my body from decollete down to my toes every single time because I live in Montana it's extremely dry climate so if I don't do that, I have that insistent, crazy itch that's insane and I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> so um, I'm actually going through this. Actually, I think I go through this in like two and a half months. It takes me to go through one of these unless I shower more often and then obviously faster. So um, I will add another product. I will hopefully be able to go through two of these by the time this ends. That would be phenomenal if I finish this up, add one more in, and just keep using up my body lotions. So, um, Don Ho, that was in 1966. So I went from 258 grams to 166 grams. So I kicked butt in this. Yes, I did. Okay, this one is I Wish by Stevie Wonder. So I will pull up I Wish by Stevie Wonder and I will also list in the description box below all the songs that I have mentioned. Because I chose I Wish by Stevie Wonder, chose Thousand Wishes by Bath and Body Works spray and there is a line where I'm at you should be able to see through the bottle anyway I started out um, that was a song from 1976 by the way and I started out with 260 grams and I'm now 226 grams so I think I'm on track of finishing this in six months I think I'm on very good track um, I spray down my whole body when I get out of the shower so, Pillow Talk by Doris Day. It was from a movie, but they still had a song in there. Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk. It must be a boy. It must be a pillow. It must be a pillow talking boy for me. I think I'm right. Anyway, so because I chose Pillow Talk, I chose Pillow Plump by Soap and Glory. Now, um, there is a little bit of flatness going on and that's because there was a massive air bubble in there. And so last time I put on my lips, today, a bunch of air came out. So, I started out at 15 grams and now I'm at 14 grams. I forgot to use this for a while, so hence, I, I'm trying to use it like when I'm in the house and, and stuff like that because this is one of my older products. So I want to get it used up, but because I got that air bubble out of it, there's still more air in there, but I feel like most of the weight is, oh, I caught it, is packaging. 
So we'll just have to see when I get down there to the bottom. Also, one thing, I don't know how far, how long this is going to last because I don't know if you can see, but right here, there's a gap. I can actually stick my nail in there. So when I push this down to where it should be docked in, now watch this, I push it down and then it separates when I let go. So I'm afraid that the applicator is going to fall out and not stay in. Next one is Sugar Sugar by the Archies. Sugar, do, 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 oh honey, honey, you are my candy girl and you got me wanting you. So I'm using a Sugar Scrub by Zany Laney. This is in the scent Token. It's, you can't even read it anymore. Um, I love this. I love the scent. And look at how much I used. There's just a little bit left. It's going to be gone. So what I'm going to do is, of course, add another sugar scrub in when this is done. So, um, and if, when I finish this out, I will add the new one in. And it'll probably be another Zany Laney one. I'm trying to use up my big containers of it. So I'll probably just use another Zany Laney one. I don't know which one I'm going to pick, but if I add it in, I'll make sure to get a weight prior so that way when I come to you guys with an update, I can tell you what I started with the weight and what the new weight is as I was using it. So, um, so next month expect this one gone and the new one in its place. I use it in the shower every, on my feet. And since I'm doing my feet, my hands get all nice and, and done. But um, yeah, that I do on my feet. Tomorrow I'm going out with a couple of my friends and we're getting mani pedis and doing dinner and a movie and just having girls night. So I started at 173 grams and now I'm at 92 grams. So I made what 80 gram different, 80 gram thing and most of this is packaging. So I guess we'll see how much the packaging actually weighs. Um, yeah. So the next one is The Book of Love by the Monotones. I love this song. Who wrote the book of love? Tell me, tell me, baby. Oh, who wrote the book of love? The monotones. And I use the Valentia Scrub. Because this is a scrub for men. Monotones is um, a men's group. And there is how much I used. I used quite a bit. So I started with... 134 grams and now I'm down to 100 grams so I used 34 grams up so that was a good dent in this and again I will when I finish this up I'll add another scrub in and we'll just keep keep going and see how many products I can use that would be awesome to find out and I'm really trying to pick products that I know I can finish within six months and, you know, even if I have to throw in some cheats in there, I, I just know I'm going to roll in another product in its place. So, um, with doing project, poli project polish, project anything, you really get a sense of what you actually use up in your home. I do know that when I put stuff in a project, I, I am, instead of like, going over and choosing one of my perfumes, I'm gonna go over and choose the body spray instead. Unless I have a date with my hubby, then that would be different. But um, I, I really try to use my products because otherwise it just sits there on a shelf cluttering up my business. So I don't want my life cluttered anymore. I wanna use up what I have, not repurchase more because I have a bunch of it and go from there unless it's any Laney body sprays. I can't help myself there, sorry. Which is why I'm trying to use up my Bath & Body Works ones. So, let's go into the next one, which is my absolute all-time favorite song of life, is Summertime Blues by Eddie Cochran. He died way too young. It's really sad, but um, yes. Summertime Blues. So I used Julep and Octavia, and I actually did not use this, so that bottom line is where I'm at. Um, yeah, I didn't use it, so I do know that I need to focus on it so that way I can add more polishes in. Well, I'm gonna raise a fuss, I'm gonna raise a holler about a working on a summer just to try to fill a dollar. The next one is Mr. Sandman, yes, bring me a dream. 
Anyway, that's by the Cordettes. That's from 1958, and I chose the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. And that's where I'm at. I didn't think I'd be able to see through it, but if I hold it up above my lamp, I'm able to see through it, and I did mark a little line there. I actually forgot to use this for like a good solid week, so I know I'll be able to get more progress out of this. Once this is gone, I do not have any other pillow sprays. Oh, unless I use Zany Laney sprays. I could add a Zany Laney spray in. I do have one that's on the, I'm like halfway through it, so I could use that one as a pillow spray. But anyway, so I started with 96 grams and I'm down to 86 grams. So I used 10 grams and that's how far I got in this product. Next one is Buttons and Bows. That's um, Jane Russell and Bob Hope's song. Um, frills and frills and buttons and bows. I can't think of the words exactly. But anyway, it's from the second movie, not the first. So I used the ColourPop liner in Button. And I didn't use this as much as what I thought. Now, I didn't sharpen it, but I did wear down the tip. So because I wore down the tip, that's how much progress I made with that much. So if I hold this up, and I only measure from this point right here on. I don't ever measure the, the nub because I can't that's not usable. So I own so I'll sharpen this and then continue to use it, but I've been trying to focus on using it, but I keep forgetting because you know, I don't like to wear brown all the time, which is why I'm trying to use that up. And it works really good with this gloss, by the way. Next one is number nine in I Wonder Why by Dion and the Belmonts. And that one I used two mascaras by Ico. For I Wonder Why. Ico mascara and this milk mascara. Now this one is drying up and... I am going to call this one done. I used it today and I just kept putting product after product after product on my eye and I just could not get a good, see, and I do this, it just scrapes the edges, but nothing really gets onto the, the brush. So I'm gonna declare this one finished, but the other half of it is still going, so I probably have, you know, another couple months of this before that one is gone. I don't like the Milk Makeup by itself. I don't like the Ico one by itself, but I do like them paired. So I think I will add in another um, mini mascara, and I'm using a Buxom one. I have a Buxom one, so I'm going to add that mini one in. Let me grab it. Oh, not Buxom, Tarte. Tartiest. And this one I had opened but I stopped using it for in some strange reason. So um, it was in my purse. So I figure let's throw this one in the place of this Ico one and then we'll just keep using minis. So, and then 10, Pleasant Valley Sunday. Now this one, somehow the footage got cut, it disappeared and that one was by the monkeys. So, and I used Sunday Riley Serum. And the serum was new when I started, but now I am down to here. Now this is an expensive serum. I do not get and how I've used this so much. You can use this morning and night. So that's what I was doing. So now I've kind of slowed down and done like half pumps instead of a full pump. And they say one to two pumps. And then the new ones that I'm adding in, next one is Chantilly Lace by The Big Bopper. I love that song and I'm wanting to use the Rosewood reviving mist starting out with 46 grams and the reason why I did this is he's talking about this girl named Chantilly and has a pretty face and because he talks about how pretty her face is this is a, a spray a spray for your face a mist so and it also supposed to fix your makeup hi Hi. Beautiful mama. I just brushed the snow off the car for you. Oh, thank you. Can I? Okay, so hubby came home. So where was I at? So yeah, Chantilly Lace got a pretty face. Um, Chantilly Lace got a pretty face and a um, 
I don't know, a wiggling or walking, a giggling or talk makes the world go round. <laughs> so anyway, I use this because it's a spray for your face. Chantilly's got a pretty face. So that's what I'm at, where I'm at. And I'm starting at 46 grams. The next one I'm adding in is Teenager in Love by Dion and the Belmonts. Oh, I must I be a teenager in love. I'm using Tokyo Milk in Tainted Love. So that's where I'm at in the product. I had this in another project, but I kept forgetting to use it. So now, Zelma's being a good girl and I'm gonna use it. So I have 12 grams. Of course, glass packaging, it's just a roll-on. I should be able to move through it. Nice. Um, and when that's once that's gone, I'll use another little sample size of perfume and just keep rolling that in and see how much I can use. 13 is Where Did I Love Go by the Supremes. Oh, baby, baby, where did I love go? Oh, deep inside, and it stings like a bee. I've got this burning, yearning, somewhere inside me. If you guys have watched um, Sister Act, you know what song I'm talking about because they sang it in Sister Act. Okay, so this one was from 1964, and I am using this ORG because they sing O O. There, so many times they say O in the song O O O. Um, so ORG, that sounds really bad, by the way. It's initials, O-R-G, but say it fast. I dare you. Say that fast. Then tell me in the comments what it actually, what you think it says. You got me good. <laughs> Stop it, Jericho. So this is a mineral peel face. And yeah. So I'm starting out with 84 grams. This is a full bottle but I would like to use this up. This has been sitting on my shelf for a while, so I just like to get it used up. So that is my 13 products. I finished one mini. I'm about ready to finish another thing. I think I will have at least, I'll have two more things finished by the next update and I'll be able to roll in some more stuff, hopefully. So. Um, that serum is not going to last another month. That's an $85 serum to last two months. And that's because I am really adjusting how much I use. I think if you used it the way it says on the bottle, you'll get that used up in a month. That's $85 for a month supply. I'm sorry. I need serums to last more than a month. So when that's done, I will add another serum. Probably this, I'll probably add this um, Oz Naturals Vitamin C Serum in there. Or maybe I should do this one. Proraxanol has retinol, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E. Maybe. I would need to use a sunscreen over the top of this, but now's the time to use it. The nighttime serum. So. So I will have to be extra careful and make sure I wear sunscreen when I'm out when I wear this. So I'll probably add one of those two items in there. I have other serums and such. We'll just see how far I can go. If I don't use up that next one, that's fine. It's a starting point for to roll it over into another project kind of deal. So that is my 13 items. I hope you guys like this. Check the description box below for all the people in this collab and for all of my songs that I picked. I will try to pick um, YouTube songs with good videos if possible. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you guys in my next video.